In this video, we'll go over how to do cervical passive range of motion. So if the patient lay on his back supine, facing the ceiling. And you can do this two, two ways. You can do this with the patient seated or the patient laying down. For today, I'll go ahead and have the patient laying down. So, we'll carry the patient through four ranges of motion, cervical flexion, extension, lateral flexion, and rotation. So, with cervical flexion, we'll just raise his neck in cervical flexion, and we'll calculate the degrees of cervical flexion that the patient has. Of course, we'll also ask him if there's any pain or discomfort with that motion. For lateral flexion, we'll bring his right ear to his right shoulder, also testing for his end feel, and then noting the degrees of lateral flexion to the right, and then also bringing the left ear to the left shoulder, and noting the degrees of lateral flexion to the left. Also asking the patient if there's any pain or discomfort with those motions. For cervical rotation, we'll just bring them down over to the right. Note the degrees of cervical rotation to the right. And then to the left as well, also knowing the degrees of cervical rotation to the left. Now for extension, I'll bring the head piece down by, and also supporting his head in my other hand. I'll bring him down to cervical extension, knowing the degrees of cervical extension, and also asking the patient if there's any pain or discomfort when doing so. 